The number of people with autism spectrum disorder in Australia has increased significantly in recent years, with around 1 in 150 people identified with autism. To help the community learn more about people with autism, a new online course is being announced today on World Autism Awareness Day. The Voices of Autism Massive Open Online Course is what it's called. It's the first Australian online course to have been co-designed by people living with autism and academics. Joining me now from Melbourne are two of the co-designers, Emma Donaldson, a lecturer in autism from Torrens University, and Paul Mikaleff, an emotional intelligence trainer with Emotions Explained. Good morning to you both. Uh, Paul, to you first, what city or town did you grow up in and what challenges did you face because you were on the autism spectrum disorder? Yeah, hi Joe. So um, I grew up in Melbourne yeah. and I would say that the, the biggest challenge that people on the spectrum face, and I know this was the case for me, uh, is just a lack of understanding. Yeah. So um, when I needed to do something my way, it was really, really difficult to explain to others why that was the case. And so very often my needs were ignored in that sense. Yeah, and so you went on to help design the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Did your situation with autism pose any particular challenges with your professional life? Um, there, were, there were a couple, just in terms of I like to work very um, intensely. Um, but not, in general, um, the, that particular working environment was reasonably good. Yeah. And Emma, who came up with the idea of this online course? Uh, look, it's been a long time in the making, Joe. Um, we've been um, excited about running this through Torrens University. What's been really important for us is that it was co-designed with the autism community, um, which means we've said no academics, um, let's go to the community to, to share the voices of the autism needs um, from day to day. Yeah, and so how important was it to have a lot of design input from people on the autism spectrum? Oh, it was paramount. We really needed to um, go to the to the community and say, what do you need? What what do you need the wider community to understand about autism? Mm. And so, Paul, tell us how this uh, course will help. Uh, yeah, so the course will help because it shares the stories of people on the spectrum, and we can give the public insight into our into into our own lives and. Um, something I always say is if you want to learn about autism, you need to meet people who are actually on the autism spectrum. Mm. So by showcasing that in this course, it should be a really, really good way for people to learn about autism. Yeah, and so give us a bit more of an insight into your life now and explain it um, in a way that, that will help people understand uh, the challenges of people on the autism spectrum. Yep, so um, in, in, in my life now, one of the things that's always been difficult is getting a balance, uh, like work life, for example. So I work extremely intensely. So I've had an extremely productive week this week, for example, and then next week I'm probably going to need, need an entire week off because I've done a month's worth of work in a week. Yep. So that is fine at the moment, given that I'm um, working on my own online business. But when I was working for an employer, that was harder to justify in, in a yeah. typical workplace setting. And Emma, can you testify that to the way Paul operates having worked with him on this online course? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, what, uh, what particular talents have you uh, found in people that you work with, with people with, with autism? Because I guess for, for a lot of people in the general community who may not have come across people with autism on the autism spectrum before, they, their only um, experience with it might be with, through movies like Rain Man. Mm. And how how um, is that uh, kind of a danger or, or is that a good thing that people have a little understanding? Yeah, I would say that um, it's probably more of a danger actually because uh, if I'm explaining autism, stereotypes don't help. What you need to understand when you're meeting someone on the spectrum is to throw out all expectations. So yeah. I do a lot of work with others on the spectrum and when I meet someone new, I know because they're on the spectrum, I cannot bring any expectations to meeting that person. So we really need, that's with the person first approach, means treating everyone as a person and getting yeah. to know them as a, as a unique human being. Yeah, because it's, it's not, people aren't uniformly affected by it, is that, is that the key? That's right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, okay, and so if people want to take a look at this course, where do they go? Uh, torrens.edu.au, um, and there's a, a screen right there for you to, to be able to log in. Okay, good stuff. Thanks so much for coming in and having a chat to us this morning, guys. Great, Great. thank you. Thanks a lot.